Hi hey everybody, I just wanted to do an update on my new fancy goldfish tank and try to get everybody excited and interested in the big changeover we're going to do tomorrow night, uh, Friday night on my live stream. We're going to actually get in here and collect up a couple of the goldfish and we're going to get them moved over into the brand new tank. It's pretty much ready to go for them. So the main fish that I'm setting this tank up for is that big, dark fancy goldfish you can see right there that is big wednesday and she's just so dark it's really really difficult to appreciate her looking down on her in this pond and so i want to get her in that tank where we can look straight in on her and just enjoy her a lot more she's a really really cool fish and has some really beautiful markings you just can't see them when you're looking straight down on her the other fish we are getting out of there is in there somewhere they like hiding under these lily pad leaves uh, or these lily pads i should say um and it's just another aranda it's a small orange and white aranda there she is i knew we'd spot her sooner or later you can see this little orange and white aranda right there she's a fast little thing for the kind of fish she is but those two fish are getting collected up and removed and we're going to put them into the new tank so the, the other day i dumped a bunch of ammonia in here and everybody was kind of wondering about why I did that and there was a little bit of confusion. The reason I did that was because I disturbed the tank greatly uh, as far as stirring up the gravel and moving the rocks around. I don't know if I disturbed the nitrogen cycle, but I certainly didn't uh, destroy the nitrogen cycle. There's no way the nitrogen cycle was just gone, but I may have disturbed it a little bit. I did add a new filter to the back, so that is a brand new uncycled filter. And so the reason I added uh, ammonia was just to make sure there was plenty of ammonia in the tank while it was sitting here sort of dormant for a week or so. I wanted to make sure there was just enough ammonia in there that the nitrifying bacteria had plenty of food to work with and it was just going to stay a nice healthy functioning tank. I even said that come Friday when we do this you know live on Friday night we probably won't even have to do a water change and I'm 100% certain of that now because I just did another ammonia test and we're sitting at about 0.5 parts per million now in fact the level of ammonia is so low in this tank that I went out this morning and I got myself three mystery snails there's one you can see the other one has made its way back there and you can see it right here and the other one is just disappearing behind this rock back here you can just make out its shell right there so I put in three ivory mystery snails the other ones right here you can see down in the shade of that anubius i also added the anubius i cut out of my 29 miscellaneous and this piece of anubius i cut out of my wife's tank quite a while ago and it's just been in one of my grow out buckets for a long time uh, i didn't know what to do with it but i decided it would look pretty good in this tank so there you go tank is pretty much ready to go i'm sure by tomorrow morning there will be no ammonia in it and certainly by tomorrow night it will be more than ready to go and worst case scenario if there still is a little hint of ammonia in there we can always just do a water change uh, and get that ammonia out of there i think it's pretty obvious that considering just a few days ago we had off the charts like five or six parts per million or more it was dark green and in just a few days we're down to almost nothing so clearly that cycle is still alive and well and functioning and again by tomorrow we're probably not even going to have to worry about even doing a water change on it so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss anything i got coming up with any of these tanks and of course i keep trying to remind everybody friday night's live stream 8 p.m eastern time i will be posting a link for that probably later this afternoon so look around get that set up so that you get a notification for it when we go live tomorrow night and we will be getting in here with the dip net and we're going to see if we can't catch that little speed demon right there i know she's probably going to be uh difficult to catch out of this tank but i think we'll probably manage somehow so again live friday night we're going to be transferring the goldfish over so make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you tomorrow night